Hi kids, welcome to story time with Teacher Nora. Today, we're going to read a story entitled The Tooth Fairies and the Cleaning Factory. Stay tuned! In a magical village called the Odin Gardens, there were three little tooth fairies named Incisor, Canine, and Mola. They were very busy working at their factory. Di sebuah kampung ajaib bernama The Odin Gardens, terdapat tiga orang pari-pari gigi kecil bernama Kace, Taring, dan Geraham. Mereka sangat sibuk bekerja di kilang pembersihan mereka. All day long, the busy little fairies cleaned and shined the children's milk teeth they had collected during the night. Sepanjang hari, pari-pari gigi itu sibuk membersihkan dan mengilatkan gigi susu kanak-kanak yang telah mereka kumpul pada waktu malam. They used the milk teeth to build the roads in the village and the furniture at their homes. Mereka menggunakan gigi susu itu untuk membina jalan raya di kampung dan perabot di rumah mereka. Sad incisor. What happened for me to do? Alama, gigi ni semua rapuh dan lubang dan hitam. Kata kaci. Apa kita nak buat ni? I know exactly what's wrong. The children eat for too many sweets and are not looking after their teeth at all. Sad canine. Saya tahu apa masalah sebenarnya. Kanak-kanak itu makan banyak sangat gula-gula dan langsung tak jaga gigi mereka. Kata Tari. Hmm, I know. We can fix it. Said Mola excitedly. Ah, saya tahu. Kita boleh perbaiki keadaan ini. Kata Geraham dengan penuh teruja. That night, canine flew off to collect all the milk teeth from under the sleeping children's pillow. The first stop was a young boy named Junior. Pada malam itu, Taring terbang untuk mengumpul semua gigi susu dari bawah bantal kanak-kanak yang sedang tidur. Tempat pertama diberhenti ialah di rumah seorang budak lelaki bernama Junior. She lifted the pillow and quickly grabbed the tooth. Then, she placed two coins and the fairy's special card in exchange under the pillow. Dia mengangkat bantal itu dan cepat-cepat mengambil gigi tersebut. Kemudian, dia meletakkan dua keping duit shilling dan kad istimewa pari-pari sebagai pertukaran di bawah bantal itu. In the morning, Junior was thrilled to see the coins, but wondered what was inside the card. His mummy didn't mention anything about a card before. Pada keesokan paginya, Junior berasa sangat teruja apabila menjumpai duit shilling tersebut. Tetapi berasa hairan dan ingin tahu apa yang ada di dalam card tersebut. Ibunya tidak pernah memberitahu apa-apa tentang kad dari pari-pari sebelum ini. Junior read the card out aloud. It was the Tooth Fairy's Guide to Healthy Teeth. Junior membaca kad itu kuat-kuat. Oh, rupanya itu adalah panduan 
untuk mendapatkan gigi yang sihat dari pari-pari gigi. The first one, eat healthy. Second, cut down on sugary sweets and drinks. Third, brush your teeth twice a day. Fourth, use a fluoride toothpaste. And the last one, visit the dentist regularly. Yang pertama, makan dengan cara yang sihat. Yang kedua, kurangkan makanan dan minuman bergula. Ketiga, gosok gigi dua kali sehari. Yang keempat, gunakan ubat gigi berflorida. Dan yang terakhir, kunjungi doktor gigi secara berkala. Soon enough, the milk teeth coming into the factory was strong and healthy again. Tidak lama kemudian, semua gigi susu yang masuk ke dalam kilang itu kembali kuat dan sihat. The end. Cerita tamat. Now you already know how to get healthy teeth, don't you? I hope you enjoyed the story. Well, if you don't already realize, actually, I am K9, your tooth fairy in the story. Sekarang, adik-adik semua dah tahu kan macam mana nak dapatkan gigi yang sihat. Harap semua terhibur dengan cerita tadi. Oh, kalau sesiapa yang masih tak perasan, sebenarnya saya lah taring pari-pari gigi dalam cerita tadi. See you later. Bye.